Let's see. B, there's a cyber psycho out there in the Badlands hanging around some truck full of cyberware. Go check it out. Far as I know, no one's claimed responsibility for this mess, although the wheels got Raffin written all over them, and it's on their turf. No signs of external violence, so the attack must have happened from inside. Either one of the Raffins cracked, or a prisoner of theirs tried to make a break for it. Either way, the fact that it's eerily quiet and not one soul seems to give a damn don't bode well. Keep Rotix peeled. Oh, jeez. The way... The way that sounds, it sounds like we're about to be on, like, a ghost chase. Woo! I was expecting that little bump. doing out here, huh? What now? Caught Arvin at the border, gotta help him. Meaning I gotta, not you? You know I can't. Told you all not to move through the cargo along the route. I know, but it is what it is. Help me out? Shit. Where are they holding him? That new Militech detention center, one by the border? Okay, yeah, I know the one. No chance. We'll never get through. Too many soldiers. We've got inside intel. We have maps. We know when they got on their brakes when their numbers drop. Well, all right. <laughs> hey, you bring up an all right point. We can try and do it. Is they kill a bunch of random civvies while breaking that guy out too? Although maybe they got attacked by Militech. Yeah, actually. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Those dudes were heavily armored. Knock, knock. What's up? How things? Or what's up? How are things? Uh, I'm good. Why? Something the matter? Had a great time in spite of the circumstances, all thanks to you. Maybe we could do it again, just without spilling any blood. Yeah, anytime. Can't wait, winky face. <gasps> anyway, still waiting for Maiko to spill the deets in our meat. Call you when I know more. Sweet. New job, Pisces. Wait for Judy's call. We're just, we, we just, we're just bouncing back between Pan Am and Judy. <laughs> I'm at their beck and call. What the fuck? Got another exoskeleton! Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill! Ah! Ah! Here, I can fire shit at you too! I missed. Whoa! Oh, that fucking reload! <laughs> Ow! Hey, what if I... <coughs> ooh, 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 ooh. What if I swap my... grenade to a flashbang? That doesn't help, huh? Alright. You're having an incendiary grenade. <laughs> you good? 
Ugh. That's fair. Ugh. I think I legit blinded him when I did the, the flashbang, and that's why he wasn't attacking. Oh my fucking god. What the- through the wall?! No! Ah, uh, God. I don't know where my last checkpoint is. Danger. High voltage. 89.3 radio vessel strong. Uh... I'm gonna go to the area they want me to go to first. Obviously, we found where the cyber psycho is, but I'm down to do the little bit of detective work first. Dead body. <laughs> Mutilation from car accident, then asphyxiation. Oh, yeah, hey, Judy. Just give her responses anytime. Confused by what she means by without spilling blood again. The only blood we've spilt with Judy was Woodman. Like, if you wanted me to punch him in the face, we can do that too. Let's see. Cyberware case. High quality cyberware, biotech sigma, donor, or Donner and Savage. Storage of high quality internal organ implants. Follow the blood trail. Ah. And then that obviously leads to the smoking area over there. Give me my, my motorcycle. Oh my god! What kind of carnage could have happened here? Let's look at the data. Resistant- 40% resistant to fire, 5% resistant to electricity. And then he's got three resistance to... to hacking. And then in order to memory wipe him, it would cost 28. Holy shit. What is that? Is that a weak spot? Charge up your big attack all you want. I'm <laughs> not gonna get hit by that. Unless I'm on the fucking ground and you chase my ass down. Goodbye. <laughs> ah!
The flashbang's not flashing! Nighty night, buddy. For someone to look better by comparison, inevitably someone has to look worse. Aw. Shiv for the win and Raffin fever. This shit is pointless. We won't get anything out of him and the stench of all that blood is making me want to puke. Well, let's make some use of him while he's still breathing. We'll go for a ride. He'll help us with the gear we're out there. I heard the Otakotas can find water, even the deep reservoirs. Like a living, breathing dowsing rod, you know? I mean, that's what they say, but we could test it for real. So we tie him to the front of the car just so he can show us where to dig? Well, he'll be doing the digging, so he doesn't pull any smart moves. Sounds like a plan. Grab the gonk and go. So... Okay, we need to talk to Regina. To, to like... What, what happened here? You were almost right. Turns out it was a prisoner who went cyber-psycho and managed to escape. Coincidentally, it just happened to be an Aldecado buddy of a prisoner I rescued from the same outfit. Managed to take him down gently. Ah. Well, that was unexpected. I'll relay this info to Dakota. Perhaps better if the family takes it from here. The quicker he gets back to familiar territory, the quicker he'll get back to normal. Saul was too valuable as a pawn, so it looks like they try to beat as much useful info out of this poor gonk and make Saul to watch, hoping that he'd crack. Eventually, they took him for one of their rides through the desert to separate them, and that's when things got out of hand. He probably mistook you for one of them. Good thing you were able to save him. Yeah. Good thing I was able to save him as he shot the shit out of me. Those fucking exoskeletons are crazy. <sighs> One more level and then it's gonna be time to finally level up intelligence. Alright. I guess... Let's go meet with this Dakota... Chapel. Or Dakota person. Or maybe we can try this. If I can meet with Elizabeth... Uh, uh, Perales. I feel like I did a mission for her back in 2020. Like this? Dakota Smith can wait! I gotta find a fast travel but we're not driving all the way over there. There we go. Where even is Elizabeth? Okay, yeah, she's... she's... yeah spot we've been before. I was gonna say, if she's not... If she was, like, say, down here or something, or, like, over here, it's not too bad to, like, drive along the way, because the more I travel along the roads, the more I get, like, actual fast travel points, because look at all the fast travel points we have up here. Arasaka Tower. When in Dogtown, keep an eye out for restricted data terminals and data tech that belong to Militech. These give you relic points. What about relic points? What about re what about relic points? Huh? Welcome to the system error. Huh? For it, buddy. Relic upgrades. Power. <laughs> I think that full confirms it, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure Dogtown is the the new place in the Phantom Liberty DLC, so that's literally just saying 
go do the DLC to get relic points. What the fuck? Where's my... What the... Oh, shit. Uh... Hey, as long as it can get back onto the road. Okay. Question mark? me out of my car. I was, I was, I was going to park myself facing the road. Are you V? Please step in the vehicle. Oh, Christ. All right, sure. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. Hello. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. Okay. It was all over the news. <laughs> of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. Far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. Okay. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, give me the shard. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. Yeah, I guess I'll just let myself enter the system next to three people I don't know, really. Well, what do we got here? Johnny! Question is, what are you doing here? My brain, too, isn't it? <laughs> and this time, don't well. go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Damn, that would be rough. You get... To be like a reporter where your eyes are the... The cameras? I couldn't do it. 
I'd get fired. My eyes would wander everywhere. They'd be like, why weren't you looking at the mayor while he was talking? I'd be like, huh, what? I was looking at a bird that flew by. Hold it. Stop right there. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. He just goes in anyways. Oh, 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 oh. Are you gonna help? I, I guess. We'll have to see. All right. Entering editing mood. We're going to start it back over. Cop wanted to tell Man, security. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butt. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. All right. What do we got? Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Wait, back it up. There's a conversation happening in the audio layer. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed <laughs> to say you don't have a clue. <laughs> Wait, where, where's this going? They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. Yeah, convenient. Better the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hey, you're King Paranoid, Johnny. Wait, wait, let him in. Important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. What's on the CCTV? Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. How uh, the dude turn off the camera? Seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That what? really happened to you? Nah. But it could have. <laughs> what the fuck, Johnny? I totally banged two girls and they were both. They were both new from God. Oh, yeah? Nah, I just saying, you know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Prem, do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Could have this guy? half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Right, okay, Johnny. Okay, it's coming out your ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, well. All right, I guess that's all we got in here. Oh, you're here. Fantastic. Hey, you two. Do not enter Pacific 
So, any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Well... Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Hmm. Who's Holt? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. I'm running in Ryan's place now. The conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop? Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. Wow. Ha, huh, clever. <laughs> what a sleaze bag. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. <laughs> sure, sure. Right. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. It'd be good. Uh. Mayor's Hustle. They in CPD? No. All handpicked by Holt and on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Mm, so someone could have been among them working for the cops with actual direct beef or, well, direct connection with the rest of the NCPD. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. All right. Got to continue our detective work. Where the fuck did they take me? Delamain? You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. Have a look around. Beauty. Hey V. Michael called. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course. of course I will. See you then. Well, we got some time on that. Yeah. Hey everybody, we jamming out, partying? Yeah! This guy got killed so hard he's become one with the car. Three levels to level 50 street cred. I don't know if there's like anything beyond that. Oh my god, Regina? V, a few Zeta Tech corporals walked into an auto shop. The punchline, none came back out. Apparently it's a family business that's fallen on hard times. My hunch is the owners finally snapped, and you know I got a nose for this stuff. All right, well, let's see where everything is. Because <laughs> I'm getting yanked all over. Delamain wants me, you want me. Let's see. Got noises coming from an auto shop. Sounded like a series of explosions. My take, either the roof collapsed or someone's gone cyber psycho. Uh, you've got a good nose for that, right? Like she said, I got a good nose for it. Well, you, she's got a good nose for it. Or maybe she said she had a good nose for it. Sometimes the details get slippy in the head. Whoa! What the fuck? Hey, Gaston. Yeah. Shh. 
Stop! Don't do it! Let this be a warning to anyone thinking about buying this shop. Don't be fooled by the fantastic location or top shelf equipment, because guess what? None of it will be yours, even after you sign whatever agreement the corp gives you. What? You surprised? Well, so was I. I shouldn't have been, though. It was right there in front of my eyes, in black and white. I didn't want to waste my time reading some complicated agreement with more twists than that Apple novel by a certain Virginia. I also didn't bother doing my research, or else I would have found out the shop changed hands three times already this year, and the previous owners disappeared without a trace. Except their debts, that is. All I can say is, I've dealt with my fair share of gangs looking for protection money or one-time heist, but nobody, I mean nobody, has ever fucked me over quite like the suits at Zetatech. So I've got only one answer for them, a wrench to the face and a vice for their fingers. So he went psycho, cyber psycho, trying to stop these, these corpus. Foreclosure notice. Due to the failure to uphold the terms of agreement and failure to respond to the letter of demand for outstanding payment, in accordance with the paragraphs 628 of the aforementioned agreement, the real property shall become the property of Zeta Tech within two days of receipt of this document. This decision is not subject to appeal. Uh, disarm. Death caused by severe concussion, most likely from an IED. Oh, so they walked on some mines themselves. Hey, disarming them is free XP, so I'll take it. Let's see. License? What license? Hey, I got a cease and desist from Zeta Tech. They say I'm using that lift in my shop without a license. What is this? I bought the whole shop from them, spent my life savings on it. Ah, uh, fuck. What? Lost him. Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, I hate the Delamain shit. <laughs> All I saw in the subtitles were beep beep, motherfucker. Alright, I bought the whole shop from them, spent my life savings on it. They want to get me again because of some license? Could you check and see if they make, made a mistake somewhere and what sort of edits we talk about here? Uh, Gaston, I contacted Zeta Tech on your behalf, and it does seem that the equipment in the shop was not included in the deed. You bought the shop building, four walls, the floor, and the ceiling. That's it. I asked about the price of the tech, but they're unable to give an estimate because of the shop in which it's located has been bought out. Oh my fucking god. Lost him. Stop fucking contacting me, asshole! I'm not done here! <laughs> Auto shop owner was on a rampage, but I managed to put him to sleep. Uh, the way corpses here gobble up small businesses, it's almost painful to watch. Before they even clock what's happening, the owners are locked out of their own premises and slapped with a colossal debt. Then they bust their asses for the corp from morning to midnight to make ends meet. Looks like this one preferred to take his own life than give up the one place that was his. See how quickly American Dream can turn into the American Nightmare? Yeah. I mean, that's fucked that, like, it's like, well, we actually own all the stuff that's in your shop and we didn't tell you about it, so, oh, shit. <laughs> ah! I didn't know there was a proxy mine there. Beep, beep, motherfucker! Hey! Let's talk! I'm not going back! Hear me? Never! <laughs> Try to take me and I'll crush you! Let's see who crushes who! <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to shoot the car? Because I never, never really been full on that. Damaged Zelomane's car to deactivate it? Oh, yeah, fucking say less. Ah! 
unfortunate. I've relinked to the vehicle. Thank you. A share of your fee is in your account. Finally got to just shoot the guy. Oh my god. Haven't I been in this exact place? Maybe not. Okay. We gotta fast travel away from here. Well, I guess I can't do it while I'm, I've got the cops technically hunting for me. Come out! Got enough problems as it is! I'm sorry! I, w I wasn't trying to like... I wasn't just shooting the car for no fucking reason! And I did kill the officer, but that's because he started to fucking cause some shit that he shouldn't have. Find you anyways. Come on out. Look, you just ran over your friend. So fucked up. No. Okay, we're fast traveling to see if it gets rid of the <laughs> the health bar at the top of the name or at the top of the screen. <laughs> 